Is ready to leave office. Our Rich Donnelly is on your side looking back at Curry's last days as mayor. He led the city of Jacksonville for eight years, but before his run as mayor came to a close, Lenny Curry made sure to be on hand for the opening of a new fire station earlier this week. New development in and around Jacksonville was important to Curry, but to build new, oftentimes the old had to come down, which led to the nickname of the teardown mayor. Somebody had to tear all that garbage down. I mean, previous administrations spoke for years about doing something downtown and they let those rotten buildings sit. So we knocked all the rot down and they're prepared now for, uh, for development. And hey, I think Lenny's lawn looks pretty. Lenny's lawn is Riverfront Plaza. It's where the landing stood for more than 30 years before being torn down in 2019. It was also the site of a mass shooting in 2018, one of a number of tragic moments Curry faced while mayor. When a city's in crisis, when people are in crisis, you see the best and the worst of people. And I saw the best of Jacksonville through the, the multiple crises we dealt with, which included two major storms, uh, COVID, uh, a mass shooting, uh, people rallied around each other. Welcome to Jacksonville, UFC fight fans. Curry helped bring UFC to Jacksonville during the pandemic. He was also mayor during the JEA scandal, but at the same time, he presided over a city that was able to balance its budget and fund new projects. And even though he's reached the end of his term, he's still showing up to the ribbon cuttings and not letting senioritis set in at the end of eight years. Well, we're here. I mean, <laughs> we've, been, we've been working right up through the end. So, uh, you know, I, I'll be working through the end of the day Friday. I'm not saying goodbye. I'm, I love Jacksonville. I'm going to remain involved in Jacksonville and be as helpful as I can. Reporting in Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.